Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also busy finalizing our next optional update for Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2 with insiders in the release preview channel, which means that we can expect this update to roll out, I would say, the week of the 23rd. And these updates, which are non-secured updates and are optional, roll out near the end of every month, bring in numerous fixes and sometimes new features to the OS. Now, first of all, if we head over to Winver about Windows, this will just give us a good indication as to the build upgrade. And for Windows 11 23H2, the OS build is currently on 2261.3007. And uh, um, that build will be bumped up to 22631.3078 or somewhere in that vicinity. If you do decide to install the update and if you are running... Windows 11 22H2, obviously that will be 2261.308. Now we also get two new features, um, nothing really to write home about, but they are um, considered to be new features by Microsoft, where Microsoft first of all says um, they are beginning to expanding the ability to use digital handwriting, which is also called inking, in some edit boxes for Windows Ink. And this has slowly been moving through the Insider program and now C is starting to get pushed out with this next optional update to the stable version. And uh, the following languages and locales are being expanded to these locations. Chinese Simplified, English Australia, Canada, India, United Kingdom, French Canada, France, German Germany, Italian Italy, uh, Japanese Korean, Portuguese, Brazil, Spanish, Mexico, and Spanish, Spain. And this also includes more accurate recognition technology, Microsoft says. Gestures to delete, select, join, and split words, and also gesture to insert a new line. So finally, this looks like it's going to be making its way. Um, Windows inking into the next optional bug fix update. Now, the second new feature also made its way has made its way into the Windows 10 optional update, which has also been finalized, as I posted earlier today. And the update adds a feature for our control system settings. So you can back up these settings from the former device. Microsoft says while you set up a new device, then those settings will install automatically on the new device. So you can use them when you reach the desktop. So adds a feature for our control system settings. Now, that's the two new features. Now, because this is a non-security bug fix update, there are quite a few bug fixes that have rolled out and will be rolling out for Windows 11 because obviously we didn't get an optional bug fix update at the end of um, last year due to the holidays. So quite a little bit of issues seem to be needing to be fixed. And I just picked a couple of these that you may find of interest. The update addresses an issue that affects certain types of 7-zip files. Apparently, they appeared as empty in File Explorer. And the update addresses an issue that apparently stops search from working on the start menu for some users. And this issue occurred because of a deadlock. So that's quite an important little issue that's been addressed there. It also addresses an issue that affects Windows Management Instrumentation, WMR for short. And the update makes Windows more reliable during power transitions. This reduces the risk of a stop error. And a stop error, as you may know, is a blue screen of death. And I always say when any stop error a blue screen of death gets addressed. That's always a good move in the right direction. It also addresses a known issue that affects the color font format um, for Windows users to display emoji with a 3D-like appearance. So that's a known issue that's been addressed, which is also another good thing. And it, the update addresses an issue to make video calls more reliable. And it also addresses a known issue that affects BitLocker data-only encryption. And MDM service, as Microsoft calls this, such as Microsoft Intune, might not get the right data. So that's two known issues that have been fixed and will be fixed with this next update. It also addresses an issue that causes your device to stop responding. This is intermittent, Microsoft says, and occurs after you install a print support app. And they always are addressing printing issues uh, with these bug fix updates. And it also addresses an issue that affects the TPM, Trusted Platform Modules. On certain devices, Microsoft says they did not initialize correctly because of this TPM-based scenarios stopped working. And uh, if we just head over to the Get Help app, which is Microsoft's new go-to when it comes to um, 
uh, troubleshooting and so on now in Windows 11. It addresses an issue that makes the troubleshooting process fail. This occurred when you use the Get Help app. So if you experience that issue, then that should be addressed. Now there are two remote app windows and remote desktop issues that have been addressed. And the update also addresses an issue that occurs when you change the keyboard language. And if we just head over to our file explorer quickly, um, the gallery has also received a fix. So the update addresses an issue that affects the file explorer gallery. Apparently it stopped you from closing a tooltip. And it also addresses an issue that affects Bluetooth, low energy, LE audio earbuds. Apparently they lost sound when some users were streaming music. And the last one to mention, um, the update also addresses an issue that affects a Bluetooth phone call. So there's two Bluetooth fixes rolling out. Apparently it stopped the audio from routing through the PC when you answer the call on your PC. And that's just a couple I picked out. And um, obviously there are some others because this is a non-security update that brings numerous bug fixes to the system. So that's our next update. KB5034204, the next optional update for Windows 11 which should be rolling out over the next week or two. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.